Travel across America with me. And where are we going today? Penitente Canyon, north of Alamosa. Spectacular scenery. We stayed at the local KOA. This is not only a great place to hike, but technical rock climbers love one of the canyons. It's also a place to gather some historical information. And, of course, that was one of my primary goals because I love learning about the overlanders of the mid-1800s. Walk into the past. One of the best examples of historic wagon tracks in the San Luis Valley is found a few hundred feet over this hill. Oh, this is exciting. Follow the path up the hill and around the corner as you begin to descend. Look for the tracks embedded in the hillside on your right. Now, I got to make a little note here. The first time you go see wagon rut tracks, you might go, really? It's sort of like hunting for arrowheads or fossils. You kind of have to have an eye for it and know what you're doing. Anyone like me who hunts fossils, I can verify that and I've only found one arrowhead. I haven't developed an eye for it but wagon ruts they are one of my favorite things and if you like the overlanders those on the California trail the Oregon trail the Mormon trail where you can find wagon tracks and here is one of those places it's in the San Luis Valley in the Pentatente Canyon. This is managed by the Bureau of Land Management. It's a great place to go any time of year. Back to the ruts. You are here you are standing on the ash flow formed by the volcanoes in the San Juan Mountains. Over many years, small two-wheeled wooden carts called carretas created these ruts in the soft bedrock. They just kept going over in the same place over and over again because that was the path. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? As early as the 1850s, Hispanic settlers used carretas to gather wood for houses, fuel, and fences. Pulled by oxen, these small carts could maneuver over rugged terrain. At this canyon, we saw this for the very first time, trail confidence markers. And what that points to and tells you is that either you are on or off the right track. These confidence markers keep you on track. Thanks, BLM. I love the desert. I love this scenery. After taking the long loop around and crossing through on the trail through this open area, we found the other end where it said wagon tracks. We had just come from this direction. They make it easy for you to go either direction. The Penitente Canyon Trail leads to great hiking. No horses allowed. Rock climbers take this trail to reach the cliffs. And I look forward to going back and rock climbing there. Great formations. Great pine trees. Great foliage. When you're in Penitente Canyon Recreation Area, be sure to take the Penitente Canyon Loop at the very least. Don't forget to see the wagon tracks. There is a side route right off the Penitente Canyon Loop. You can drive to them, but no matter how you go, be sure to get there. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you have, thank you. Where is your favorite place to hike in Colorado? Leave a comment below. On this main trail, as it is considered, you will find beautiful, out-of-this-world rock formations in this incredible canyon. And there are lots of lush plants, including choke cherries. You might consider hiking this trail in the early morning or maybe even late in the evening. Before we went out there, we went online to try and get some information about the trails. It was a little confusing. Many people talked about how they got lost, which I think is kind of funny because they have these trail confidence markers. I do have to tell you that we did get uh, a little lost because we came to a point, it's like, well, which way did we go? Because it wasn't clearly marked. We got to a cliff. It's like, certainly we don't go down this cliff. Come to find out, there was a way down the cliff. It was a nice, gentle slope along the side. We just were not seeing it. I do agree that it's a little sketchy in places on what to do. The views are incredible. It can get very steep going up and down because you know what goes up must come down. Be sure you have plenty of water and always know just head downhill and you'll eventually get there. But there is no need for big scrambling or anything scary. You will just need to be sure that you can see the trail. A lot of times people have made comments that it is easiest to take it counterclockwise. We did take it counterclockwise, but I kind of think that maybe going clockwise, it would have not made that part as sketchy on the way down on this Pentatente Canyon Loop Trail. But don't forget to see the trail ruts. They're the best part. Well, not really. The whole thing is gorgeous. Keep an eye out for rock climbers. And remember, whenever you are out west and you see a green gate, it's okay to go through it. Be sure to close it after you pass through. Besides locals using these tracks, they are also part of the old Spanish trail from Santa Fe to Los Angeles. 
There are many other trails in the Penitente Canyon Recreation Area, and many can be comboed to make loop trails. They range from the easy one-mile Russell Lakes Nature Trail to ones like the moderate Pronghorn Loop Trail of 8.1 miles. There is so much to choose from. And if you want to do a multi-day, there's a 43 and a half mile Continental Divide Trail. I think we'll pass on that one and just drive to the Continental Divide. Hiking boots on the ground. Unclassic road trip. You could probably wear tennis shoes on this. I could have worn flip-flops. I probably should have just worn flip-flops. But anyway, hiking boots on the ground in South Central Colorado.